Welcome Retail 101ers to another Tmall episode hosted by Mark Lack from Retail 101 Online. What's a Tmall? T-M-O-L, I hear you ask. Well, it's a 10 minute or less episode where I expand on a narrow element from a larger episode or cover something I have missed or something that a listener has asked a question about. After completing episodes six and seven, Unleashing Potential, Your People Are Your Success, parts one and two, I spent a lot of time talking about how to build and understand your team. However, one of my listeners sent me a message and asked for more information about the cost of losing good people. So, I have put together this T-Mall where we unlock that mystery with the 10 main costs of losing good people. Of course, there are many reasons your people leave. That's not what is under discussion here. However, we are answering the question as to what it's going to cost you. With a few solutions too. Number one, the direct recruitment costs, such as advertising job openings, attending job fairs, and engaging recruitment agencies. Then of course, you also have the fact that screening, interviewing, and assessing candidates requires time and resources from the hiring managers and HR professionals. The solution here is to implement cost-effective recruitment strategies such as leveraging employee referrals, utilizing social media platforms for job postings, and building a strong employer brand to attract passive candidates. Number two, the costs associated with training and onboarding, such as investing in training programs to onboard new hires and bring them up to speed with job responsibilities, along with the costs associated with training materials employee supervision and mentorship. The solution here is to enhance the onboarding processes with comprehensive training materials, mentorship programs and shadowing opportunities. And then also implementing efficient training modules to accelerate the learning curve for your new employees. Number three, the costs associated to productivity loss such as the decrease in productivity during the transition period as new employees ramp up their skills and gain familiarity with the role. There is also the temporary increase in workload for existing employees covering any vacant positions. The solution here is to cross-train existing employees to handle multiple tasks and provide temporary support to new hires along with streamlined processes and workflows to minimize disruptions during any transition period. Number four, the costs associated with any customer service impact, such as lowered customer satisfaction due to inexperienced or understaffed teams, and of course, the potential loss of loyal customers who value personalized service and consistency, and then may follow the employee to his new company. The solution here is to prioritize customer service training and empower employees with tools and resources to deliver exceptional service along with the implementation of scheduling practices to ensure adequate staffing levels during peak hours. Number five, the costs associated with lost sales opportunities, such as missed sales opportunities resulting from reduced service quality or knowledge gaps, and of course the impact on upselling, cross-selling, and customer retention efforts. The solution here is to provide ongoing sales training and product knowledge sessions to equip employees with the skills needed to maximize sales, along with implementing incentive programs to motivate employees to excel in sales performance. Number six the costs associated with employee morale and engagement, such as a decrease in overall morale and engagement among the remaining staff due to increased workload or uncertainty, and then the negative impact on team dynamics and organizational culture. The solution here is to foster a positive work environment 
with open communication, recognition programs and opportunities for professional development. And of course, then conducting regular employee feedback sessions and addressing concerns proactively. Number seven, the costs that are turnover related admin costs, such as processing exit paperwork, conducting exit interviews, and managing separation logistics, along with the others such as HR admin tasks related to onboarding, offboarding, and benefits administration. The solution here is to streamline offboarding processes with automated systems for exit paperwork and benefits, as well as conducting exit interviews to gather valuable feedback and identify areas for improvement. Number eight, the costs involved with any impact on brand reputation, such as the negative perception among customers and potential job seekers if turnover rates are high as well as any damage to the employer brand and reputation as an employer of choice in the retail industry. The solution here is to build a strong employer brand by showcasing employee success stories, emphasizing company values and promoting a supportive work culture along with leveraging social media and your online platforms to highlight positive employee experiences. Number nine, the costs associated with all of the talent acquisition challenges, such as difficulty attracting top talent if turnover rates are perceived as problematic and then increased competition for skilled workers in a tight labor market. The solution here is to develop robust talent acquisition strategies, including targeted recruitment campaigns, participation in industry events, and partnerships with educational institutions, as well as offering competitive compensation packages and emphasize the opportunities for career growth. Number 10, the costs associated with any long-term productivity impact, such as potential disruption to strategic initiatives and long-term business goals. And then, of course, the loss of institutional knowledge and experience that could have contributed to innovation and growth. The solution here is to implement succession planning and talent development programs to cultivate internal talent and minimize the impact of turnover on critical roles, as well as fostering a culture of continuous improvement and adaptability to navigate organizational changes effectively. In the dynamic world of retail, the impact of employee turnover extends far beyond the surface level costs of recruitment and training. It represents a fundamental challenge that can erode productivity, disrupt customer service and tarnish brand reputation. The hidden costs of losing good employees can have profound implications for a retail business's bottom line and long term viability. To address these challenges effectively, retail businesses must prioritize employee retention strategies that go far beyond monetary incentives. Investing in comprehensive training programs not only equips employees with the skills they need to excel, but also fosters a sense of value and belonging within the organization. Creating a positive work environment through supportive leadership open communication and recognition programs can boost morale and enhance employee engagement. Furthermore, effective talent management practices such as succession planning and career development opportunities demonstrate a commitment to employees' professional growth and job satisfaction. By prioritising employee retention, retail businesses can cultivate a loyal and motivated workforce that drives operational excellence, enhances customer experiences, and safeguards the reputation of the brand. Addressing employee turnover isn't just about cost savings. It's about investing in the heart and soul of your retail business to sustain growth and competitiveness in a competitive marketplace.
I hope this has helped somewhat in understanding some of the costs of losing good people. If you can think of anything else, then you know how to find me. Send them to me on LinkedIn, X, or the retail101online.com website, and I can add them to the list. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell wherever you get your podcast fix, so you never miss out on the excitement of our next episode drop. Cheers to the retail revolution.